babies. Little cute. I can't really answer questions because I can't, I'm blind and I can't see like your comments and stuff. But I think that I can look back, I think I can look back after I'm done and answer questions if you guys have questions or anything. But this is Penny. Say hi, my name, my name is Penny and I'm getting brushed right now. And I'm a Pomeranian and a so cute. I'm using a slicker brush. I love this slicker brush because it like bends. So I always tell people like if they have like really hairy dogs to do line brushing. And when I say line brushing, Penny, they can't see your face. She says she's camera shy. She says she says I don't want to look at the camera. She says I'm scared. I'm nervous. Are you nervous? You, be can't, you got stage fright? It's okay. Uh, anyway, sorry. <laughs> I got distracted. But you lift up the hair like this. And see how, I don't know if you can see how it's like getting to the skin. But I'll try to answer your guys' questions later. I can't, I can't read. But I'm at the salon all by myself till 7 o'clock. Hey, me. Look over here. Look at your cute face. She says, I don't want to turn around. I don't want to turn around. My squishy face. Oh, yeah. This is my first time ever grooming Penny. But she has, she wants to get like, kind of like these wispy hairs cut off. She wanted to get her shaved. I talked her out of it because It'll ruin their coat. Well, I mean, like the video that I have on that's like, do not shave your Pomeranian. She's definitely an extreme case, but there's always that chance. Like, there's always that chance that that could happen to your dog. And like, I was telling her mom, like we have these like dogs that were like, these Pomeranians that would like come in during the boo craze where like they, all, like shaved like the whole body and then left like a little round head um now they all look like they have alopecia because their coat's like completely ruined but so she's just getting a little clean up but we gotta brush her out completely i mean like shaving seriously shaving takes like way less time but it's definitely not in the best interest of your dog she says look how cute my ears are i look like a cat now I'm a cat. Now I'm a dog. Now I'm a cat. <laughs> yeah, she's a very good girl. So, anyway, I'm not really allowed to be like on live while I'm at work. But, you know, I just had to share her because she's so cute. She says, that feels really nice. Just, can you just, can we just stop and just do dish the whole time? You don't need to brush me. We just, just do dish the whole time and then no, no scratch. It's so funny when I pick her up, she's like, she does like this little, um, like dramatic chipmunk, you know, or like the chip, like the chipmunk is like, ah, dun, 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 like that. Anyway, so I'm just getting her all brushed out with my slicker. And I just let her sit most of the time, but I do need to get her back in pretty soon. Can you stand up and get your butt? See all this hair that's coming out. She says, I'm a statue. I'm not moved. I just stay in one spot. So I'm a good dog. Where's a good dog? She says, don't get your face out of my face. I don't, I don't want to see your face. 
a lot of dogs get like a lot of knots back here. Like I had this really cute Pomeranian yesterday who had like knots in the back of his ears that I had to spot shave. But see how it's like kind of frizzy back here. So it's important to get that all brushed out. This is like, if you keep a Pomeranian, like this is like your job. <laughs> like brushing your dog is like your job. Sometimes like we would have, I had this one lady, oh my gosh, she gave me such bad anxiety. She would bring her dog in like, it was a poodle and she would bring her dog in like every three months. She wouldn't brush her dog at all and like her tail would be like a complete mat. And um, she goes, well, it's your job to brush my dog's tail. And I'm like, well, I can't really brush your dog's tail when it's like completely matted. It's also your job to maintain your dog's coat. Anyway, so I like to check, make sure I didn't get any knots, leave any knots in here. So with my comb, if you don't have a comb, get one. See this, oh, I, I think I kind of told a story about this. Like, see, like I have this one bent tooth I had this little poodle named Ginger. She grabbed my comb and she just crunched down on it. Now I have this one tooth that's like all messed up. I'll get behind her ears. I hate this. I hate that that's there. Yeah, this is what I do. I had a Cocker Spaniel earlier that was a little wild. But see all this that I missed? Oops, sorry. So mom just gonna get like all these little frizzies cleaned up. Get her ears kind of cleaned up. I don't know, this is the first time I've ever gone live on YouTube, so I don't know if I can look at your guys' comments, like, after this. I'm just not allowed to kind of, like, read it. I had to, like, stay focused on my dog. So, hello to everybody. Hello to everybody. This is a tangle spot here. For some reason, dogs get, like, a lot of undercoat like right in this area I don't know why somebody said that maybe because they like it's just like a natural way to protect like their internal organs or something so. sometimes I like to use these like teeny tiny cat nail trimmers but yeah so, oh great it's time to get my nails done already but see how much she hates it just she just says do what you gotta do whatever you have to do just do it probably trim her toe hair her quicks are you can see her quick so these are pretty easy nails to trim girl Yes, I'm very good. I did very good for that. She's a statue. She just doesn't. You don't do nothing. Or don't do nothing. She just stand there like a perfect princess. Like a perfect little princess. What's that? I'm a little curious about that. Get around on the other side for that one. Since she doesn't want to move, I'm in, I move for her. She 
do for her little booty. She says, that's private. Please don't show people you shaving my butt. Do like uh, do like the like the flaky salt, but for hair. Ay ay ay! I have too much fun here. So, Let me get her little green peas. More just for aesthetics. Are you falling asleep? She might be falling asleep. That'd be really cute if you fell asleep. Could you relax? It feels nice. That's not your mom. It's not your mom. Looks nothing like your mama. Doesn't even look a single bit like your mama. Not a single bit. Sorry, I thought I'd have more to say. If you're just joining us. I can't really look at your guys' comments. Yep, 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 yep. Scratch your booty, scratch your booty. He says, I don't really care for that. You could stop that, please. You could stop that. You're so cute. This is my first time ever grooming Penny. We've never met, but I thought she'd be kind of fun to watch. She's got some little scraggles. Little scraggly wagglies. Her back toenails don't need to be trimmed because they're super to the quick. Trimmer for little toe hairs. And then we'll get like these little hairs there. It would be really cute if she fell asleep. She was starting to when I was doing her little feet feet. She's not beautiful. I really like being brushed. She literally hasn't moved from this spot. Her name is Penny. Sorry, I could see that. I was reading your, I'm not supposed to read the comments, but her name is Penny. So this is where, this is where my, I'm not very good at this, but we gotta get this part out of the way. Oh, danger zone, danger. I'm gonna put this around her belly so I can see what I'm doing on her neck. Oh, where are you going to go? Where are you going? I just changed it so I could get your neck better. I'm going to turn this to a So the people see. Yeah, because they want to see your cute face. Everyone wants to see your cute face. I'm a cat. I'm a dog. I'm a cat. Okay, I'll stop. She says, I am not a cat. I am not a cat. Don't call me that again. So we're just gonna 
take down her little belly hairs and like all of this stuff to make her look like a little ball. Like mom wanted to take her kind of short. I'm very, always very hesitant to do very much in terms of cutting a Pomeranian's hair. Just because A, their coats are just so beautiful. And B, no alopecia dogs. We don't want any. Hey, Cassie, Benny. You see those people? Are the people coming in? She says, I'm looking to see if my mom's here. I'm looking out the window. There's people walking in because nobody believes in the pandemic. So everyone just comes in and we have lines across the, across the whole store. But people should just stay home, huh? People need to stay home. Help. Stay home, stay safe. Don't come look at hamsters. No. This is like a very, very light trim. Like very light, like the hair is like hardly anything. We just want to make her look, look groomed. That's not your mom either. She says, I think everybody's my mom. And I think that everybody should just take me home so I don't have to be here anymore. I could just go home now. This is actually kind of nice because I can kind of look at the camera and see what I'm doing. I told mom to come on here and watch her. Oh. Now I gotta stop what I'm doing and go help customers. I can't, so I can't really read the comments. I gotta go out and help a person. No fighting. Hi, you're the best, Dominique. I gotta go help people. So, well, thank you guys for coming to my live and I'm sorry that I couldn't really. Yeah, Penny says, you gonna go to sleep now? Who's that? No. I gotta go help. Wait, did they leave? Uh, I gotta go, I'm sorry. Say bye, Penny. Say bye. I gotta go help customers because I'm all by myself. So, bye.